Okay. Seven o'clock. What? What? Shit. Oh, okay. Here we go. We are live and go ahead and enjoy, Chris. Hey. How's everybody doing out there? This is Chris from the front porch, Pennington, New Jersey, 24 South Main Street. You are joining us tonight for our first virtual Zoom. And based on the way the weather is, I think it's a great night to have a virtual Zoom open house for Mother's Day. So we are um, happy to have you join us. Uh, we are excited about this opportunity of trying it. Uh, I know probably a lot of you that are out there are doing a lot of uh, Zoom meetings. Uh, maybe in some cases you're thinking I'm doing too many Zoom meetings, but uh, just sit back, relax, and uh, maybe get yourself a little something cold to drink and you can just enjoy wherever you are uh, with your friends at the front porch. So let's talk a little bit about how this is gonna go. You're gonna see products from uh, four of our wonderful business partners tonight. And when you see them, you are going to see items numbered. If you see uh, anything that you would like to have or that you need more information on, all you need to do is text us at 609-902-9200, email us at sales at the front porch nj.com, or call us at 609-737-0071. We would love to help you answer any questions. Uh, and of course, we would love to uh, beautifully gift wrap anything that you would like to uh, give away. And it isn't always bad to get a little something for yourself. So uh, hang loose with us. Do try to stay till the end uh, because we've got some exciting um, things we want to talk to you about a little a uh, few gifts uh, that we're going to be raffling off. Uh, and then one other thing I want to remind you is uh, during this time, of us being closed yet open, the front porch is offering curbside pickup, local delivery and shipping. Once again, I wanna extend a huge, huge thank you to all of our customers and friends that have been so supportive of us over the past five to six weeks. The outreach has been unbelievable. So now, I think a lot of us say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I'll tell you what, it takes supportive vendors, business partners to survive in this small business environment. So I have the pleasure of having four very supportive companies here with us tonight. We have Brighton, we have Innes of Ireland, we have Wallaroo Hats, and we also have um, Front Room Images, who um, Heather is not only my personal trainer, friend, but photographer for the front porch. So we couldn't do it without you guys. And I know you're on your personal time at this point, and we thank you for your support. So Without further ado, shall we get on with the program? First on deck is Allie Lloyd from Brighton. Brighton is a wonderful business partner to the front porch. I think most of you know that we have a wonderful relationship with them anyway, but through this time of closed yet open, they have opened their doors to us where you can order from their website, put in our code, which is the FRO15 in their, in their promotional code. We will get credit for that. You can let us do it, have it shipped here, and we will wrap it beautifully. 
So it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you, and I know a lot of you know Allie from all of the events we've had in the past, but Allie, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Sure. So excited to be here. And again, um, it's so important times and all times to really, really think about those local retailers that support you in, you know, for every occasion in your life. And of course, we're all thinking about Mother's Day, right? It's a Mother's Day open house. And Chris is going to take you through the items that we have tonight for Brighton. But I want to just talk a little bit about the collections that are the real focus. Um, for this evening, which are really all terrific gifts for all the women in your lives, as well as personal favorites, because, you know, every day we're all doing more than we ever did. So it's never a bad idea to purchase yourself a little gift for you. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about these four collections. So um, Halo is one of our favorites. And at the front porch, I know it's a favorite too. Um, it's a collection by um, Lynn Hong. She's a, one of our designers. And it's all about color. And blues um, are the primary colors of Halo. And she's inspired by celestial, all these beautiful celestial things. Um, she is a stargazer. And she was really, really inspired. So Chris is going to take you through some beautiful Halo pieces. Of course, at Brighton, we have pieces that stand as their own special beautiful item, but also we can give you collections. So not only is there a necklace, a beautiful necklace, um, earrings, bracelets, rings, there's a beautiful halo watch, but Chris can really, and the girls at the front porch can take you through all those gorgeous halo items that are so wonderful. And we just, we love that, that blue is just really um, spectacular in the halo collection. Another collection that we're going to focus on is Ferrara. And Ferrara is an amazing artisan collection. Carmen Redolusco is the designer. And I'm wearing um, quite a bit of Ferrara tonight. So I have Ferrara necklaces, Ferrara watch. And then I'd love to also pair Ferrara with other all silver artisan brightens. So Chris um, has a bunch of beautiful pieces to show you. The inspiration with these amazing architectural details, 12th century Europe, and these this beautiful rose windows that are really just these elements that are historical, architectural, and Brighton brings them out in amazing jewelry. We also have some gorgeous handbags to show you tonight. And um, two collections we're focusing on. One is the Ferrara in the phone organizer, and it's a favorite of mine, and I know it's gonna be a favorite of many people out there, um, and also our Heart to Heart collection. And that is a lightweight collection of nylon, quilted nylon embroidered bags that are not only amazing in their quality and just the look of them, really luxury, but they're incredibly lightweight. So um, Chris, do you have anything that you want to add to, to those collections? And we can maybe start seeing some product and I can chime in as you go. We certainly can. And I just want you to know, Allie, we've got great taste. If you will notice my necklace okay. and my, right? I, I love the fur, so it's fabulous. So right. are we ready? I think I've got, Karen is gonna kind of be on the side here, helping me as we get through this. I'm going to uh, start with the Halo collection. And um, what I would like to do is I'm going to start with this beautiful necklace. And if you could just tell me, I just want to make sure uh, that you can, can you see it down? Tell me if, I just want to make sure I'm right for everybody. Am I good? All right. So this is this beautiful necklace. And I know Michelle is probably in the background there saying, I think I need to have that on my Mother's Day list. Um, this is the beautiful Halo Eclipse collar and the Halo long, fabulous earrings. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous, I'll say one thing about that, Chris. So in Halo, not only crystals, but also in amazing enamel. So that's actually the stunning blue um, enamel that's part of Halo Eclipse. And just because I'm not quite into this number situation, 
If you are interested in the necklace, if you could just write down number one, and if you are interested in the earrings, just write down number two. Then we have the, let me make sure everybody can see this. This is the Halo Eclipsed Hinged Bangle, which once again is beautiful. I wish you were here so I could show this to you in person, but this is not bad. And this is number three. And I know this is Michelle's, one of Michelle's, our graphic designer's faves, which is the um, um, Halo Hinged a Bangle, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, everybody loves. This is number four. So again, before you even go on past that, everybody knows that all the crystals are Swarovski. And Chris, maybe if you could even just show how the hinge bangle just easily on either one of those. It's an oval hinge and they're so comfortable on the wrist and how they just open so easily. It's a easy bangle to wear, fits everybody's wrist. And um, I love that with the rope detail and all the Swarovski crystals. And Michelle is the proud owner of this fabulous bracelet, right, Michelle? Do you want this one? Yeah. It's hard to put together with you. And this 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 bangle also, just so you know, is easy hinged, uh, very easy to get on and off, and um, just looks beautiful. And now we are on to the uh, Ferrara collection. Five, six, and seven. <laughs> and Vanna over here is saying it's five, six, and seven. <laughs> Karen doesn't want to be seen, but she's over here talk, <laughs> telling me what to do. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, the um, Oh, these wonderful, wonderful uh, French wire earrings. This is something that you could wear anytime, every day. And that is number that's number five. Number five. Uh -huh. And then we have the Ferrara drop necklace. That's the center one. Which is this one right here, um, which is uh, number six. And as I'm going through this, uh, Allie's probably over there going, Chris, why aren't you telling them how much it is? And <laughs> I, I, I apologize for that, uh, but I will start doing that now. Yeah, but I so think... So if they're just liking it, then they can just tell you the number and keep you know, going. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, and then this long Ferrara um, uh, necklace. I actually have that one on tonight and absolutely love this. Yeah. And those pieces are so great because they're just great wardrobing pieces. I think that style, the style of Ferrara really is for every lady and it's an, it can be every day, but it's also just so spectacular and then long necklace you can wear three ways really um long framing like chris has on with another necklace and we're showing it here or also wrap double both at the same length around here or you could do one short and one a little bit longer so again that's like a, a necklace one necklace that can be worn three ways which we all love right it's just like a go-to necklace very easy to wear great Sorry, that's oh, and then we have the Ferrara a medallion link bracelet, which is, once again, just very simple and beautiful. So that's like a soft. That bracelet. is number eight. Okay, so the other thing, I have to show this. Th okay. This is a little bit out of number order, okay. but this is my fave. Okay. I have to show it now. Okay, so this is the Ferrara. Number 12 black and white number 12 and i'm telling you talk about a beautiful organizer for your cell phone your credit cards and it is a crossbody with a beautiful chain um this i'll tell you when we when we saw this with ally when we when we ordered this probably six months ago it was just like black and white have to have right ally yeah <laughs> Instagram live yesterday. What's that? It's on my Instagram live yesterday. <laughs> um, it's such a great piece, really amazing. Number 12. Okay. Number 12. Now, 
I need to show next the Kalista Super Light Bag. And I don't know if those of you out there have seen this collection, but this is, this is number nine. This is lightweight. It is absolutely fabulous. It comes in black and navy blue. And let me just show you, get a feeling for the inside and also the little organization. And of course it would very easily hold that cell phone that we have to have with us at all times. It's, yeah. Do you wanna add something? No, I'm um, really when we're talking about um, heart to heart, there's so many styles and you're gonna show a few, but it's really that luxury, lightweight travel handbag option. And so many of our ladies love it. And so many of the front porch gals love that collection. As well. We do. And actually, I think the other key thing here is navy blue is very difficult to find. And mm -hmm. it's just so great that this is available in this lightweight collection. So let me just show you this fabulous bag. Speaking of navy blue. Speaking of navy blue, <laughs> um, this is the uh, uh, pack of. Uh, Knox. Hold on. Yes, yes. Knox. This is the super. This is the Knox Super Light um, and Strong bag. That when this came in, Karen had to put it in the window. This is a wonderful, lightweight travel bag. And look, I mean, you, all kinds of pockets in here. This is just fabulous. I just have to do one shout out here, if. <laughs> there is someone out there from the Popo Valley area that's mother's name is Donna. Just want you to know, she has been looking at this bag for weeks. So this would be an absolutely fabulous gift for Mother's Day for Donna. Shout out to you, Donna. Okay. All right. Then this is another wonderful, packable, crushable utility bag. This is just, well, it's a little yeah. short right now, but uh, I can extend that's that. all right. This, this one uh, is something that uh, everybody loves. This is number 11. It nicely holds your cell phone and you could throw your lipstick, credit cards, lightweight, grab and go. This is a wonderful bag. Love now, it. Love um, the idea of those being a little uh, sportier with the racing stripe. Yeah. Um, of course, the adjustability on that one. So no matter how tall or short or petite our gals are, the adjustability is amazing. And um, it's just, it really is. And these are registered handbags, guys. So these bags are part of that Brighton registered handbag um, uh, promise. And so they have a two-year warranty, um, you know, we stand behind these bags like really none, none others. So we love that. I love this bag myself. Okay, shout out to my husband and son. <laughs> this would be a great gift for mom. <laughs> there we go. The Laura. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last but not least of our collections, uh, this is the Allura gem earrings. Hopefully you can see how absolutely beautiful they are. Uh, this would be a nice transition with the color for spring and summer. And we also have the beautiful Allura gems necklace. And this is number 13 and 14, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Number 13 and number 14. They're gorgeous. And I love the movement on those and the idea of just that little tassel of color. So pretty, so sweet. All right. And last but not least, because we are all just can't wait to see the sun. And we did see a little bit of it yesterday and it was a gift. We just have to put on our Ferrara sunglasses. These yeah. just came in. And they are wonderful, comfortable. And the other great thing about these sunglasses is that you can actually, if you have prescription glasses, you can actually have a prescription put into the Brighton sunglasses. 
the other thing that Karen and I find out about feel about the Brighton sunglasses is no matter what pair you put on, you look fabulous. Mm -hmm. It really completes the look from head to heel, right? You got it. And this is number 15 and just came in. Great. So I think we have had. Are you going to talk about this right? or not yet? Yes, I would like to do that. All right. I, I'm getting another cue here from Vanna. <laughs> Vanna doesn't want to be seen, but, but I'm getting cues, which is all good. So just wanted you to know um, our wonderful business partner, Brighton. Uh, one of the things that we will end up raffling uh, will be a $50 gift card to help you purchase some beautiful piece of jewelry or sunglasses or accessory of Brighton. We thank you, Brighton. We thank you, Allie, for your support. Your support of small business is just beyond. And we thank you. Love you. We love you. Love you, Allie. Thank you. Have a good rest of the evening. Cheers, Al. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Let her drink some glass of wine. Oh, Cheers. all right. All right. <laughs> That's cute. Very cute. All right. So now we are going to move on to our next fabulous business partner, Ines for the C. And I am so happy to have with us. Karen Foley, who actually is out of hot Lana. <laughs> Karen, is it hot down there? Not today. It was yesterday, <laughs> but no, today it's cold and a little rainy, but it's it'll... a little rainy. Well, here it's in the 60s, <laughs> but a lot rainy and windy. So yeah. we've got that too. Yeah. So Karen is, is, I'm so excited to have her with us because um, she actually is the, um, United States Business Development Manager for Ennis. So um, this is a very special friend that is joining us tonight. And the one thing that I wanna mention, and I had said it earlier about these fabulous business partners we have, what's wonderful about Ennis is during these very difficult times, you go out on their website and they are not trying to sell directly to the consumer. They are directing all consumers to small business. And we thank you, and you're absolutely amazing, and we love your product. So take it away, Karen. Wow, thank you, Chris. That was a great introduction, and she is 100% correct. You know, um, Inish is very dedicated to the small business, um, and we are directing everybody to our online business partners. So if you go to our website and order, we want you to order through our online business partners um, not Amazon and not direct or any of that. We aren't, you know, we're not in it for the money. We're in it for the small business and we a hundred percent support small businesses. So I just wanted to, um, take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about Inish and then I'll show you the products. So, um, as you may notice, I'm saying Inish instead of Innis. either way is correct, but Inish is the Irish word for Island. Um, our fragrance was born on Roundstone Beach in the Western coast of Ireland. So all of our products are made in Ireland. They all have the same fragrance. So everything I show you tonight is gonna be the same scent. It's a wonderful, clean, fresh, unisex fragrance that everybody loves. Chris will tell you it's been one of her top sellers. Uh, Mary's gonna hop on here, I hope in a minute or two and say something too about the products. But uh, I'm telling you from every trade show I've ever done, people come and they spray it and they're just like, ah, you know, it just reminds them of being by the beach, wherever they are. So um, I want you to have a chance to enjoy this. And it comes in a lot of different, uh, we have cologne, we have body lotion, we have home fragrance, we've got all kinds of things. So I'm going to take you through all of them tonight. I hope I'm not forgetting anything here, but somebody will remind me if I am. Uh, so I'm going to start with our, um, our original claim to fame, which is our fragrance. Uh, so we have our cologne here, which this is our 1.7 ounce cologne. And this is, um, you can see, you can try to see that our beautiful sea glass bottle. And then it has the lid is like um, a sea glass that you would find. So you've got the frosted glass. It does say Inish on here. It's a little hard to see between my wall color and my hand color, but uh, <laughs> um, it's a great unisex fragrance. Men love it, women love it. Um, and like I said, when people spray it, they just go, ah. I mean, we just watch people and we kind of laugh at the shows because one after another, they spray it and they're like, ah. 
Um, so you'll see this is our, our number number one tonight, and this is our 1.7 ounce. It's one of our most popular sizes. We also have it in a travel size spray, um, and this is our one of our second popular uh, most popular products. I hate to put the number right over the box, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, this I love because the travel spray, you can have this everywhere. I have one in my purse, one in my car. I mean, it's just so handy. You can have it everywhere and have a quick little uh, refreshing spray wherever you are. We also have it in three other sizes. We have a roll-on, which a lot of people like too. So that's also a purse size. That's not small. Uh, we have a one ounce and we have a 3.3 ounce cologne. Now the 3.3 ounce is a great value because you're getting double the amount for only about $10 more. So consider any of the sizes. They're all good. Get one for you, one for a friend. And um, again, it was number one is the 1.7 ounce. And number two is our travel spray. And you'll see when I go later into our gift sets, um, most of them have this travel spray size in it. So it's a great value. So those are our colognes. And um, again, you know, the cologne has a nice light fragrance. It's got citrus scents. Um, it's not, a lot of people don't like strong perfume. I'm one of them. I'm very allergic to strong perfume, but I can wear this really easily. So you'll find that it's very universally accepted and loved. So people that like fragrance will like it. People that aren't really fragrance fans will like it. I mean, again, I've had people at shows that say, you know, ooh, I'm allergic to fragrance and all that. They spray it and they're like, oh, I like this. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> told you. Uh, so then next I'm going to go into our moisturizers. So all of our body care products, they all have seaweed extract in it from Ireland and um, sea minerals. And what seaweed does for you is it is very moisturizing. So it has anti-inflammatory um, properties in it and anti-aging, super good, super moisturizing. So this is our seven ounce body lotion. And this one has um, the seaweed extract and minerals, vitamins, and shea butter in it. Super moisturizing. And that's number three. We also have it in a large pump size because it's so popular. People want one on their bathroom counter and they want one that they can take with them traveling or wherever. So um, one of my little tips with this one is that I mix it with self tanning lotion. So you know how self tanning lotion has that kind of funky smell. My sister says I smell like Fritos if I just have self tanning lotion on it. So if I mix half and half with uh, the body lotion and my self tanning lotion, I don't smell like Fritos. I smell like a lovely day at the sea instead. So uh, that's one of my little tips. I think Mary, do you have something on the I'm lotion that you want to say? say that um, that's uh, I discovered that lotion a few years ago and. Um, Actually, I was heading in for knee replacement surgery, so I needed something to have aromatherapy with me at all times, and that's when I discovered that lotion in the gift shop in town, and now what I do is I put it on, especially getting through all this drama we're going through right now with, with the pandemic, I put it on my hands every night before I go to bed because I tend to sleep with my hands near my face, and it's just, just a, such a soothing, calming scent to be breathing in as you're falling asleep, and I just love it. But the lotion is fabulous. I mean, I, I use it all the time. That's awesome. Thank you, Mary. That's an awesome <laughs> testimonial. Um, the next one I'm going to go to is our another moisturizing item is our hand cream. So this is number five. This comes in a 2.6 ounce bottle. We do also have it in travel size. This one has the seaweed extract and minerals in it, but it also has shea butter and argan oil. Uh, this is a hot our nourishing hand cream. So this one is more of a treatment uh, type product. So it's super moisturizing. It sells really well in hospitals. So if you have any friends that are working in the hospitals right now, they could use a little pick me up, I'm sure. Um, so this is great and it's really great cuticle treatment too. Uh, another nice thing that I wanna tell you about all of our moisturizers is they don't leave you feeling greasy or sticky like a lot of other moisturizers do. So. Um, so it's a really popular item. Again, you know, any of your um, healthcare professionals, I'm sure they could use a little extra gift right now. Also, um, Nurses Day is May 6th, just in case. You want is to it? Not fast. Oh, thanks. I'm make sure I do something with that information. All right, now I'm like out of order on my products. Oh, another moisturizing item that we have is our body butter. So this one, um, the owner of our company, David Cox, he's actually on QVC twice a year with this um, as part of their Irish specials. And it's so nice to see the owner of our company, again, small company, small business, um, on there promoting our products. But you can see from here, this one has um, seaweed extract, it has shea butter, um, seaweed minerals, and it also has aloe in it. 
So this is great for sunburns. You see it's a nice, thick, rich cream. And this is our body butter. Um, people love it. Uh, it's great for your elbows, for your feet, for sunburn with the aloe in it. So it's another um, way to moisturize. Karen, uh, I always tell people that you could basically just jump in it. <laughs> whole body in there and just, it is so <laughs> wonderful. You really cannot go wrong with any of the moisturizing products. And another thing that we like to tell people is that you can layer the moisturizers. So you can put on the body lotion. And then if you put on your cologne after that, the fragrance will last a lot longer. Um, and another item that I have to add to the moisturizing is our body oil. This is number eight. We just came out with this about a year ago and we sold out of it in the first month. People have been asking for this forever. It's a nice dry body oil. So you can put this on before or after your lotion. Um, I like to just put it on, you know, in the middle of the day for a little pick me up or if my skin's looking a little dry and scaly, this is my favorite product. One of my favorites, they're all my favorites, but this is one of my top favorites. Um, and I also, we don't have it in a travel size yet. So I put it into a little travel size bottle when I can travel and uh, take this with me too. So the body oil is really nice, super popular. Um, another item that we have, I'm looking around to see what all I've got here. This one is kind of funny. This is our shower gel. It's not funny, but my story is funny. So uh, my husband just realized that uh, this was our product not too long ago. And he's like, oh, where do you get that blue shower gel? I'm like, um, see the name, Inish, it's ours. Uh, and he loves this. So he runs around the house finding all the places I have it and he hides it. So he's a hoarder of my shower gel. I just had to order a whole case and I'm hiding it from him so he can't take it. So again, men love it, women love it. The um, shower gel has, um, again, the seaweed extract and all kinds of super moisturizing uh, ingredients in it. And you can also use this in your bath. So you can use it as a uh, bath gel too. So it's the refreshing bath and shower gel. And it does have sea kelp in it from Ireland. So you'll notice sometimes the, dip, the shades of blue are a little different depending on our kelp uh, harvest at that time. So there's my little shower gel story ragging on my husband. Um, Here's another very popular product right now. This is our hand care caddy. I think I just lost my number. Number nine. Um, this is our hand care caddy. You can get this. This is our hand wash and hand lotion. You can get them in the caddy like this in this nice little gift wrap. Uh, number nine. Um, oh, you can also buy these individually. So this is really nice. I love having these in my bathroom. I have them in all my bathrooms. And uh, my friends will come out of the bathroom and like, oh my God, what is that? I'm like, again company that I work for. Yeah. Um, so you can buy it like this. It makes a great housewarming gift. You know, anybody that's moving right now, um, college graduates, this is a nice thing to give them or not college graduates, high school graduates going into college so that they remember to wash their hands long after this little epidemic is over, you know, make sure that they're washing their hands regularly. Uh, let's see, where's number 10? Number 10, like I told you, people love our fragrance and it kind of has a cult-like following. So once they have the lotions and the colognes, they really want more things that smell like it. We are always getting asked, when are you going to come out with this? When are you going to have a room spray? When are you going to have this? Well, uh, we started it with the home fragrance not too long ago. So uh, home fragrance would be number 10 here. Um, this is our diffuser. So this is a, it's a beautiful little white uh, vessel that we have. I'm trying to make sure I have the label in the front. Um, it now comes with two sets of reed diffusers. Uh, it has the nice little white rope handle, making it very giftable. And um, uh, you can just fill this up as you need it. The fragrance is great and it's it lasts for a long time. I have three dogs and nobody can smell dog in my house. I have these all over. Uh, we also have a refill oil for it too. So after you've used your initial one, you can just get the oil instead of having to buy a whole new diffuser every time. So this is our diffuser oil, number 11. This also uh, people put in their essential oil diffusers. So you can diffuse it with your aromatherapy too. Karen? Yep. Yeah. A question? Um, we just got a question. Number eight. Question? Body butter is what number? Body butter was six. Oh, six. Body butter is six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, a couple of other home fragrance items that we have as our sachets. 
These are great. Um, you can put this in your car for car freshener. That's another product people ask us for. So we're like, you can do this. It does double duty. You can have this as your car freshener. You can sprinkle this on your carpet and it smells great because it'll be in your vacuum cleaner for a while. Um, I like to put it in my luggage, even when I'm not using my luggage. That way, when I go to travel again and I open it up, it smells like Inish. So um, this is another really nice home fragrance item to have. And that is number 12. That is our scented sachet, can't say that. And then the other home fragrance item we have is our beautiful candle here that says Inish on it in the nice white vessel. And that's number 13, lucky number 13 is our candle. So it's just a few home fragrance items that we have, but they all sell really well. People love them. Um, they've been in Gift Beat Magazine a couple of times this year. So for only having three or four home fragrance items, that's pretty good. Um, now I'm going to get on to some other great Mother's Day gifts. This is one of my favorites. This is our Voyager gift set, number 14. This is awesome. Oops, my little numbers keep falling off. Uh, this is great because you're getting travel size of all of our uh, most popular items. So you're getting a travel size hand cream, travel size body lotion, travel size shower gel, and you're getting our travel cologne spray. And it comes in this beautiful little blue cosmetic bag so they can put some other things in there too. Um, but this is a great gift item. Uh, you're basically getting the body lotion for free in this gift set. Uh, we do have a couple of other gift sets. We have number 15 is our Traveler Duo. This is our travel size spray. I don't know if you can see it very well. Travel size spray and body lotion. Again, you're getting the body lotion for free in this one. Um, you will also notice on a most of our packaging, I think. Um, here it talks about how we are the original founders of the Irish Whale and Dolphin Foundation. So our company has been given back to the Whale and Dolphin Foundation and um, supporting research for dolphins and whales for a long, you know, ever since we've been around. So for a long time. So we do give back. All of your purchases go to help support that cause. Um, one more of our gift sets is the Trio gift set. This is another nice one. Um, the nice thing with this is that it has the portholes so you can see through there. Um, and again, you're getting the travel spray, the body lotion and the shower gel, travel size of everything. Um, and you're getting the body lotion for free. And that is number, where's my hand? 16. <laughs> Uh, there's one more gift set that I didn't have on hand, and that's our signature gift set. I'm sure Chris has that one in stock, too. Uh, so we've got four different gift sets that are already packaged, ready to go for you to give for Mother's Day, graduation, whatever occasion that you have coming up. Or uh, like Allie said, as a gift to yourself, you know, we got to be nice to ourselves, treat ourselves. We're all home. A lot of people are home with kids all this time, um, homeschooling. So take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you're not good to anybody else. Uh, one more nice little item that you might want to add in a gift set would be our Turkish towel. So this is a really great little thing that you could put with a gift. Um, it's seven, uh, number 17. Let's say $17. It's not $17. Um, it's a nice big towel. You can use this as an airplane blanket, a beach towel. Uh, makes a great table runner. And I don't know if you know about Turkish towels, but they get softer the more you wash them. So they're really nice. I mean, they're thin so you can fold them up easily. They're easy to travel with. Um, so this would make a nice um, addition to any of your items that you're getting here for a gift. And I think that that is about it for me. I wanted to read you something that's on the back of our box, which I think is very fitting for this time. It says, Inish is, the, is Irish for island, but no one is an island. We are all connected by sea, by ocean, by dreams. Makes me sad, but happy, but sad. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. That's on our label. It's a great company. I hope you're all doing well. Any questions? Anything, anybody? Anything? There will be a raffle for us at the end, right, Chris? Yes, or now? I don't know. <laughs> yes, there will. And <laughs> I just want to show you this. Here, here's Banna White. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so just so you know, um, what we're going to be doing with Ennis is um, it, the winner will receive this fabulous uh, beach bag, uh, which we're all looking forward to those days. And uh, you will also have the opportunity. You've heard about all the wonderful things that Ennis has. Um, so you will be able to pick $50 worth of product 
uh, to just put in that bag. So we thank you. Um, we thank you, Karen, for your support. And I'm telling you, we love Innis. And it's always so much fun when you call and the person in customer services answers with that wonderful Irish accent. <laughs> we thank you. And thanks for being with us tonight. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right. So next on our schedule is, are we going to bring her forward or we're going to leave her back? Mary Repke <laughs> from Wallaroo Hats. Um, before I bring her to the forefront here, I uh, just want to remind everybody that you can reach us very easily via store phone 609-737-0071. Please feel free to text. Um, we will pick up your text tonight, right now, if you just want to text a question, 609-902-9200 or feel free to email us at sales at the front porch nj.com. And please feel free during the course of the next few minutes or whatever we have uh, to ask any questions that you, you might have. So now let me bring Mary. Mary is with Wallaroo Hats. And um, we really started to work with Wallaroo as a result of Mary and have actually had two events with her. And when she comes to our store, she brings all of her hats and our customers just have such a fun time trying on these things. So Mary is going to help us be virtual. And what is so wonderful about this is once again, she is gonna have her, her hats numbered. And if you see a hat that you like, you can uh, text us or email us or whatever, call us, give us that number. Wallaroo has actually, they are really not shipping product right now, but for this event, they have agreed that they will ship any order uh, that we give from our event tonight. So once again, there is the support of another company of small business and we thank you. Hi everybody, how are you? Um, so I wanted to introduce you to Wallaroo Hats. Uh, it's a company that's been around for um, over 20, actually they're celebrating their 20th year anniversary this year. And um, they have from the get-go uh, designed hats for outdoors with specific focus on sun protection. And they're partnered with actually the Skin Cancer Foundation as one of their partners that they make sure they work with the Skin Cancer Foundation to um, make sure all their fabrics are, are, are certified. If they're gonna carry the UPF 50 label, they're gonna be recommended and certified by the Skin Cancer Foundation. And they also give back 1% of their net profits to Skin Cancer Foundation for research and education on uh, an annual basis. And I've been doing that for over 20 years. Um, the hats are beautiful. Uh, you're gonna love what you see when you get them, when I show them to you, I'm sorry. And I will tell you that they all have super quality and a lot of style. They originally started with one hat that was designed for just the basic outdoor, you're at the beach, you're hiking, you're doing any of those outdoor activities. And it was designed with the right brim, the right fabric, but the hat, the style and the hat became so demanding that then they started branching out into fashion. So we're gonna have a hat fashion show today. Um, and I just wanna see if I can get my screen to be full so I can see myself better. I don't know quite how to do that. Um, there, speaker view, okay. Um, so uh, the hat I have on my head, okay, why am I wearing a hat today? And, and everybody's like so tired of being inside and uh, we're dying to go outside and you might not think it's the right time to buy a hat. Uh, but uh, actually it is because the one thing we're all suffering from is bad hair days. Our color is fading, our roots are showing, we might need a haircut. So a hat is a fabulous accessory just to cover up the sins of, your, of what is going on in your head and you don't wanna be seen in public that way. While well, you're doing Zoom meetings, you're doing Zoom cocktail parties, you're doing Zoom business meetings, do you really want your roots showing? No, put a hat on your head. It's fun. So I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of styles because the one thing I, we all have is we have multiple personalities within us. We, we have our serious side, our fashion side, our party side, 
And we at Wallaroo have hats for all those opportunities. So um, the hat I have on my head, I'm gonna come back to a little later. It happens to be one of my favorites. It's called Tahiti. But right now I, I uh, wanna show you our, uh, most of the hats that I'm gonna show you first are all brand new. We just launched them this January. We had exciting trade shows. We had lots of stores ordering them and now they're just waiting to be shipped because we need everybody to open up. So the first hat is this beautiful hat, Sausalito. This is number one. I'm gonna give you numbers and names. So this is number one. It's called the Sausalito. I'm gonna show you a couple features first. Inside every Wallaroo hat, we have a drawstring so you can adjust the hat to fit your head. So we, we accommodate the variance in people's head sizes predominantly by having that drawstring. In a few popular hats, we also have a petite and I'll walk you through those later. But so this hat is lined because it's made of raffia. We have a, several hats in the raffia line and the ones that, are, that we want to make UPF 50 or sun protected hats must have a lining in it because raffia is, I'm um, trying to hold that up there. Raffia is a see-through fabric. It's a beautiful natural fiber that is woven beautifully, um, but it has a, a little bit of a see-through venting in it because of its nature. So it, if it's see-through, it's really, if any hat is see-through, uh, if you look, hold it up to the sun and you can see through it, it's not really a UPF 50 protected hat. So that's one thing you should just know when you're shopping for a hat. If something says it's UPF 50, hold it up and make sure you can't see through it. Um, we put lining in ours on the raffia to make it that way. And I'm gonna put this beautiful hat on my head and you can see that it's, it's just a gorgeous hat. It covers your face, it covers your ears, it, it shows off your face beautifully, it accents it. And this comes with a beautiful um, ribbon uh, scarf that is attached. And it's got some loops that it can go through and it's got a couple of places where it's tacked. The reason they lightly tack it is so it stays in place, but you could also untack it and replace it with your own favorite scarf if you wanted to. So this is the Sausalito. It's a beautiful floppy hat. I think it's uh, really great for, uh, it's a great look with a sundress if you're, once we do get to go out, uh, you know, but you can also have a tea party. You can have a Zoom tea party and have a hat party with your friends. You don't have to wait uh, for, for us to uh, be allowed out again. And it's also great if you're just sitting out on your back deck and reading a book. So that's the first hat, that's number one, Sausalito. And my next hat is also one of my favorites. This comes in two colors, so I've given each color a name. This is the dusty blue, this is hat number two, and it's the dusty blue Ojai. This, is a, this hat is not UPF 50, it's a beautiful floppy hat. It's got a lot of patterning in it and it comes with a little jute with seashells sewn into it. So let me see if I can get a closer look for you to see the little uh, seashells and, but, and the little beading around the edge of that. So this is the slate, slate blue and this is the, um, the caramel color, or almond, we're calling this one almond. So it comes in a brown. I'll put it on my head just so you can kind of see the difference in color. So that's the brown. So it's just a more natural earthy tone versus a very natural blue. So those are uh, two of the, well, three of the new floppy hats. Um, the next one is, uh, I wanted to just show this. It's not brand new, but what I'm gonna put on is a new color because this is our other popular raffia hat um, that comes with just very super casual. It's a little, le it's definitely less dressy than the, the uh, Sausalito with the ribbon, but it just has some dyed uh, edging around, weaving around this uh, here and here. It's in accents. And uh, this one is the new color in navy blue. And it has two little cords around here just for decoration that are uh, a jute band in, in the natural and the navy blue. And then that, that hat comes in, oops, sorry, I'm violating the number law. This is number four. <laughs> and um, uh, I didn't, just because we would, we have so many colors, this, in this particular hat, since it's been in, I only put the number on the new, but if you want one of the other colors, it's just four, number four, and it comes in the navy, or it comes in a natural mushroom, or it comes 
in an aqua. Just reaching across the table here, it comes in this aqua. So that's, uh, those are the, the kind of, I, I guess I call them summer afternoon, very nice floppy hats. Um, and they're the fancier line. They come out of our women's collection. Now I'm gonna take you into what's new in the, um, in the uh, regular collection. So we have now, um, five, six, I wanna do Charlie and Darby, here we go. These hats are fabulous. What I also love about Wallaroo hats, you can't do this with raffia, but you can do this with almost every other hat in our line. You can pack it to travel. So this is called, you grab a hat by the edges and it's called a taco fold where you squeeze it in toward the rim and look how flat that packs up. So if you're a golfer and you love a hat like this, you can slide it into the long pocket in your golf bag. If you're traveling in a suitcase, which we will all get to do someday soon, you can, um, put it into your suitcase and have it with you if you don't want to have it on your head, or you can pack it in your backpack. So this hat is the Darby. Nope, I want to, yeah, I'm going to do the Darby first. I'm going a little bit out of order. This is number seven. This is the Darby. It's a black and white woven hat with black grow green trim. And what's nice is it's called a cloak. So it's a shorter, not like the big floppies. It's a shorter brim. Well, it's a wide brim, but it's a shorter style. But what's nice about this hat is you can keep the brim down or you can turn the back up and give the hat a whole different look, which is hard for me to demonstrate here, but you can give the whole different look. So it's kind of cool. So out of this hat, you can get two looks. Mary? Yeah. May we have, we have a question? Yes. Uh, the question is the hat that you showed at the beginning with the uh, scarf? The Sausalito, yep. Yeah. Is that packable? No, it's, well, you can pack it a little differently. It's not, it's not a crushable hat. Raffia is not crushable. You could ruin the brim of how you do this. But what you can do with these hats is you can, you can um, sit them in your suitcase, put these down, but keep the bowl regular, the, the, the cap of the hat regular and stuff your stuff things in it and pack around it. Oh, okay. And, and that's what I've done with this. You know, if, if I'm going to take this hat, I'm going for some place where I'm taking a full size suitcase. So I have room in my suitcase to put this in, pack around it, and then and, and stuff the inside of the hat. And then you can get it packed without having to carry it separately. Thank you. Most of the raffia is, that's a problem with raffia. You, it's, it doesn't pop back in shape, whereas you're, you're, any of these hats, it just pops right back in shape. And that's mostly because of the natural fiber of the hat. So similar to the Darby, it's, it's the identical fabric, but a different look. And, and as I said, I'm sorry, the Darby was number seven. Similar to it is number six, the Charlie. And this is a fedora. So it's a classic fedora look, um, covers your brim, uh, covers the face and, and the eyes and really shows off uh, a nice style. So that's really a matter of personal taste. Not everybody likes a fedora or thinks they look good in a fedora or they prefer the rounded look. So that's why there's lots of different shapes and, and styles in the hat line. But these two are a new fabric. It's a poly paper fabric. It's actually a, a very high end, high quality. Um, but the cool factor is that it's just pretty much crushable and pop back up into place. So it's a pretty exciting new hat. So that's the six and the seven the Charlie and the Darby. This is one of my new favorite styles that we just launched because we had a lot of demand from people that said, you know, I'd love a ponytail hat. Um, so this hat is a little different. It doesn't have the inside adjustable band because it has a Velcro attachment so that you can pull your ponytail through if you have one. It's not the only reason to buy this hat though. You don't have to have a ponytail to buy the hat. The other reason I like it is because of this, this cutout here in the back of the neck. So it's, it's really nice. Sometimes you know if you're at the beach and you sit against a chair and you've got a big brim on, your hat moves. So this way it, it goes flat against your neck and still covers your face. But it's a beautiful lightweight hat. It's great for the golf course. Um, and it also comes in two colors. So this is the ivory, uh, which was again, number eight. And this is the natural beige, which is number nine. And this is just a nice neutral 
fabric. Again, it has a really lovely grow grain band around the top and it too is pretty packable, crushable hat. So these are, and there's a beautiful fabric. I mean, this is one, when you get it and feel it, you're gonna love it. Um, I got piles of hats here. <laughs> um, the similar fabric, actually the same fabric to that hat, but a full fedora style. And again, it's adjustable because it's a full fedora style without the cutout is the Caroline. And this hat, I have number 10 in the, in the beige and 11 in the natural or white. So um, this hat again is a nice look and they all fit everybody's head about the same, but you can adjust and make them smaller. Uh, you can't make them too much larger, but you can certainly make them smaller. Um, and then this is the, uh, the natural look. And then here's the kind of ivory look. So I would say, you know, what I've noticed at the shows at, at, with the, I'm going to back up one second at the, at the shows I was at, the white one was more attracted to the golfer crowd and the natural was more attracted to the gift crowd, but you'll, you'll have an overflow. But I think because golf tends to be a lot of black and white clothing, so it's, you know, matchy outfit type stuff. <laughs> and then the same will happen with this. So any questions so far? Anything else? I have a lot more to go through, but if you have any questions, I'll take them. So um, let me see. The hat I had on is called the Tahiti. It's, a, it's again a raffia, it, but it is a little packable. Um, but it's a, it's a teeny fedora in that it doesn't have as big a brim, but it's, it fits everybody and it's nice and stylish. But the nice part about it with the colors is these are all like little um, like beads and stones around here and they match the color of the band. Our newest color for this season is sage. So to add to the turquoise, we have sage. This hat I gave a number five. Um, and I think we're going to uh, have to pick the color. So when someone calls, it's I'll just go through the colors so they have a sense. But number five is the Tahiti. So it comes in sage, it comes in turquoise. It has a red and then, um, sorry, that was my hitting the computer and a black and a mushroom. It must be a very popular hat. So there's five of those and, um, and it's number five. So I did go a little out of order there. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not confusing everybody. So we've done five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're up to some classic favorites that we've, uh, I'm going to show mostly because what we've just launched are petites in these popular styles. And the first hat you can see, I'll show you a very good reason why we did a petite. This hat is a popular hat. I know Karen sells, a, um, Karen and Chris sell a lot of it. This is called the Catalina. It's, it's a beautiful big brimmed straw hat, but it's in a bowl shape, not floppy, really comes down low on the head and covers your eyes and your ears, which are what you want covered when you're outside. And it comes in two colors, this natural and then the mushroom. But this hat does run a bit large on purpose. It's meant to really come down around to eyebrow level. So you, you want to tighten it up uh, regardless of head size. But this really couldn't be downsized to a petite. So we've launched a petite this year. And you can see the difference in how it sits on my head. This does not, this is a petite hat. It does not come down as low as the other. So this was kind of a necessity for, for petite, but also for preference, because not everybody likes it high and low. Yes, Mary, so again, we, have a, we have a question. Um, the uh, price for uh, the number eight. Number eight, the Gabby is uh, $52. Actually, um, the Charlie, Darby, everything from six through 11 is, is $52. Six through 11, 52. Thank and, you. And actually, I'm going to tell you six all the way through 15 is $52. Okay. Thank you. And then I just went through the Catalina, but the regular size is a 12, is, is number 12. And ask for either natural or mushroom. And the petite is number 13, natural or mushroom. Otherwise, I think we would have been up to number 60. So this was easy. 
Okay, now here's a really nice popular hat that actually is kind of unisex. Although we sell it, we kind of market it in the women's line. We do have a lot of men that tend to like to buy this hat. And it's a beautiful hat. It's, it's again, packable. Um, it's UPF 50. It's called the Sedona. And this is number 14 in ivory. And what's lovely about this hat, I'll show you on a close up of this, is this beautiful color band detail. So it kind of gives it a little bit of South American or Native Indian look and feel to it. Um, and it comes in this kind of white natural color or this um, darker, what do we, we call this one? Um, camel. So the, the camel color is super popular, I think more with the gentleman. And we now offer the camel in petite as well. So again, I'll, I'll put on both of these so you can see the difference in fit. This is a regular on my head. You can see where it comes down on my eyes. If I put the petite on, it barely covers the top of my head. These little tags you have to stuff in. So, um, so that's the Sedona and that is the petite is number 15. It only comes in the, in the camel color. And then the regular is number 14 and it comes in your choice of colors. And the next popular hat uh, I was actually photographed in the email in is the Christie. And we just introduced the petite and the Christie. So we introduced it in the, the two most popular colors, but also this year we launched a new color. So I have a feeling we'll be adding the petite in that next year. But the Christie is just a uniquely different hat. It's, it's very pretty with the, the white top and then a different color bottom. It has a leather trim strap on it with a little buckle for, for a little ornamentation. Um, and it comes in a like a two-tone uh, stone and white, or this is called the ice blue and ivory. And then I'll put that one on my head in the size that fits me. And then we also have it in a black and a navy blue. This is the navy blue border and trim, and this is the black. So it's, it's just a snazzy hat because it's of the two-tone quality to it, and you don't see anybody else with this hat. So except a half a dozen of my friends because we all fell in love with the ice blue. <laughs> but, but it is a hat that if you wear it to a party, people will be buying hats. I will tell you that. So, um, so that's the Christie. And those are the majority of the new items, but I was prepared if you want to, to just kind of touch base on things like the Breton, the Sydney and the Victoria. That's up to you. I thought we'd ask, take, see if anyone has any questions and then decide where to go from there. Are we seeing any other questions? No. I think what's so fabulous, Mary, is that um, so many petite hats. We get asked all the time, what choices do you have in the petite? And I just think it's fabulous the way Wallaroo has responded to that. And uh, thank you. They really jumped on it too, because, and we started with our more popular, the most you know frequently sold or popular hats. So we also have them. So now we have them in the Catalina, which was a very popular, the Sedona, the Christie, and we also have added to the colors in the Victoria, the Petite Victorias, and um, uh, the Petite Scrunchies. Yeah, it's great. Um, do you want to see the Breton, um, like a model one, and just show the colors, or how are you doing on time? I think maybe we'll call it at this okay. time. I think since there, is there another question? No, but don't forget we're gonna. I will not forget. <laughs> Vanna, my sidekick over here, who's not coming out with me, is reminding me, I can't forget this. Um, what we're gonna be doing uh, with w w Wallaroo, which is just so wonderful, is we will be raffling off a hat of your choice. So if you happen to be that wonderful winner, uh, you're going to be able to pick out um, what hat you would like to have. The other thing I just want to mention about um, Wallaroo is, you know, like later on today, tonight, tomorrow, any questions you might have about hats, anything you want to see, 
um, just call us at 609-737-0071, text us at 609-902-9200, or uh, email us at sales at the front porch, nj.com. Mary, we thank you for your support tonight. You're quite welcome. And don't forget, ladies, wear your hat when you're doing Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All great right. Job, <laughs> Another great job. Uh, thank you for your support. You're quite uh, welcome. And last but not least, um, it's with great pleasure that I introduce Heather Robb, uh, Front Room Images, who I met probably six years ago. Is that when you went to college? About six years ago? My son, seven. Seven. seven years ago, seven years ago, my son said to me, Murph, uh, ah, you should get, um, you should get another dog. No, 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 no. I said, no, I'm not going to get another dog. One, I'm going to go back and start playing golf. Two, I'm going to start working out with a personal trainer. My, it was the best thing that I ever did. So Heather, personal trainer, fabulous photographer here tonight to talk about front room images. So take it away, fabulous friend. <laughs> hey, Chris, <laughs> thank you so much. I don't know, can you hear me at all? Or no, is it, not coming? Is it all good? Okay, <laughs> so um, I just, I wanted to make sure that the visual was okay. I didn't see it all come up. So I just wanted to make sure that was fine. So I got the thumbs up, so I guess I'm good. <laughs> so thank you, Chris, for your introduction. And it's been great knowing you and working with you on multiple levels. And I just wanted, to, I didn't want to take up too much time. I just wanted to focus on um, the type of photography work that I do. And um, most of the stuff that you see on my website, if you go there, frontroomimages.com, um, it's a lot of uh, portrait work. I specialize mostly in um, children and families, uh, business headshots, um, actor headshots, things along those lines. And um, seniors, of course, like any, any age. I just love working with people. That's really the area that I enjoy the most. Um, but one of the things I definitely wanted to highlight is uh, we're gonna be moving into storytelling sessions, which I think because of uh, what's going on now and uh, everybody being at home and having a lot more family time, <laughs> unexpected in different ways, um, it might be a nice transition uh, to, to look at something a little bit outside of the box. So a lot of times uh, people are always rushing and trying to get that perfect family photo, which we can def definitely accommodate. Um, but storytelling sessions are sometimes you just don't know when to schedule your appointment or how to get everybody together. Right now it's a little different because everybody's together, <laughs> but on a normal uh, situation, uh, everybody is uh, at activities and doing other obligations and things along those lines. So sometimes it's nice to document what breakfast might look like. Uh, maybe that is a really special time, or maybe you can make it a special time just for the photo session. Uh, maybe what bedtime is like, and maybe that's a lot of connection that you have with your family, and uh, that would be a nice time to document that. You don't have to look perfect, but you know that the camera's coming in, so maybe you make a little bit extra effort. Um, so a lot of family storytelling is something that you can go and uh, think about. Also, uh, perhaps one of the kids is learning how to ride their bike, and you would like to document that. Uh, there's a lot of story behind that, and I would really like to start to bring that out because I think that's where the connections are. That's when we see ourselves at our, our, at our more genuine, real selves, and uh, sometimes struggling with the kids and making sure that they're dressed right <laughs> and perfect. Sometimes that's not how it always is. And it's okay to capture what we're dealing with because that's beautiful too. So the storytelling sessions are gonna be on the uh, website soon. They're not there yet, but I am offering them. I've done some of them. I've just not really put a lot of um, visuals out there yet. And uh, so what else? Uh, sports field, maybe you wanna bring the photographer out when everybody's, because everybody's there for the soccer game or for the lacrosse game. And you know that's something to think about. Maybe a small section of time for uh, vacation and you wanna document something like that. And they don't have to be the beach portrait, you know, but maybe it's just uh, wherever you are and that's like a, a house that you go to on a regular basis. So that's storytelling for families. And then there's also storytelling sessions for individuals. So we define ourselves um, by sometimes what our passions are and what our hobbies are. And it would be nice to kind of 
document those times, uh, the ways that we define ourselves. So Chris, maybe it's golf <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> coming, uh, coming out onto the green. And I've done that before and photograph somebody who really thought of themselves as a, as a golfer and that was their life. And they didn't care how many knee things they had to go through, but they were always on the green. And uh, we did a session and did something like that. Um, maybe you enjoy sailing and you know you want to invite uh, me along <laughs> and photograph your hobby. Sometimes it's a quieter hobby and maybe it's knitting and you might think, well, how do you document that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautifully. Um, as far as like all the, the details of what you use um, when you're doing that. So I, I'm just, uh, just asking people to think a little bit outside to document who they are. Um, I know with what's going on later in terms of what we're offering <laughs> from Front Room is, uh, is more of just the portrait sessions, which we've been doing for such a long time. I've been photographing for over 18 years. Um, one of the things that works really quickly, just to kind of wrap things up a bit on my end, is I specialize in posing. So when it comes to your business headshots or you wanna look your best and how do you move your body in order to make sure that you're looking um, in your best physique and all that other kind of stuff, um, I definitely love to work with that. But my background is also in documentary photography. So I'm able to pull away and be in that more candid moment or I'm able to be really involved with you in making sure that you look your best. Uh, so there's there's so much that I can uh, work with in that realm. And I also wanted to mention in terms of location. So whether that's at your home or in an open field, if you want something a little bit airy and, and, um, and gardens and things along those lines. But I also have a studio in Old City, Philadelphia. I was gonna show a picture, I was looking for it earlier, <laughs> but um, I'm too afraid that if I share my screen, I'll end up going off. <laughs> so we'll leave it for another time, but um, you could look that up. It's an old city, it's on Race Street um, and it's beautiful. It has uh, brick and alleyways and things, things like that. So whether you want an urban setting in Philadelphia and it's not that far to get there, um, or if you want something closer to home and in an open space or in your own home, I can accommodate that as well. So I don't know if I missed anything, but I don't want to take anybody else's time up too much. So Chris, if you want to take oh, over. Thank you, Heather. Um, what I wanted to just mention, Heather had talked about posing people. If you had the opportunity to go out and take a look at our website, and it's the frontporchnj.com, you will see a team shot of 10 to 12 uh, front porch associates. And I'm telling you, when you look at them, they all look fabulous. She had us pushing it up, pushing it out, <laughs> lifting it here, lifting it there. We're like standing there going, this is never going to look any good. And everybody just looked fabulous. So uh, take a look, definitely take a look at our website. And you definitely should take a look at Heather's website. Um, and you saw a few, those of you that get emails from us, you saw a few samples of some of the pictures that have been done. Um, absolutely amazing. So on that note, I uh, just want to let you know that uh, Heather has very generously offered uh, that we will be raffling off three portrait sessions with Heather, which is absolutely amazing uh, because the, the time is going to be ticking from now through the Saturday through Mother's Day, and uh, you can definitely enter to win um, a wonderful uh, portrait session with our dear friend Heather, Front Room Images. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Does anybody have any, any questions or anything? Anything? No. All right. Chris, can I add something? You certainly may. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say in terms of, since we don't know when we'll have clearance um, to have the ability to do portraits, um, as if anybody knows, I'm currently shooting and I'm definitely at a, at a healthy distance and I use my telephoto lens so if we run into that issue as far as um, some things are lifted and we can do that, but we're still trying to be mindful of our social distancing and things like that, I am definitely equipped. And my long lens is my best lens and it's the one I choose to shoot with anyway. So there's no loss or any modifications that would shortchange your portrait session. So uh, that's not an issue, especially once we're allowed to get out a little bit more, uh, I can definitely still keep, um, that social distance uh, aspect in mind. So, thank you. Sure. I want to once again uh, thank 
um, Allie, Karen, Mary, and Heather for the time tonight. Uh, it was, this has been amazing. Uh, this virtual Mother's Day open house, um, um, fabulous. And I just really, really thank each and every one of you for your time and your support of the front porch. So for those of you that have stayed with us the whole time, just wanted to let you know that you are automatically going to be entered into the raffle for the four different categories that we talked about. You're just automatically going to be entered into that. But I know there's been a lot of interest in the, in the products that we are talking about, whether it's Brighton, whether it's, I, I'm gonna get this right, Mary, or uh, Karen, Inish, Inish, <laughs> or if it's Wallaroo, if you decide to purchase any of those items between now and five o'clock on Saturday, you will automatically have three raffle tickets put into this raffle. And then we will continue, continue to take, uh, ra be raffling all next week, all the way through Saturday, uh, May 9th. And we will be drawing the wonderful winners at uh, five o'clock um, a week from Saturday. So once again, I wanna thank our wonderful partners. I wanna thank our wonderful customers. Um, your support has been fabulous and um, we love you. So have a good evening and thank you again. <laughs> Bye Heather. Bye. <laughs>